Our goal during this presentation is to guide you through the online registration process. All students, whether they are a student who went to CCSD school last year or a student who is brand new to our district, needs to be registered online in order to ensure they are placed at a school for the next school year. I'm going to share the desktop of my computer with you in order to guide you through this process. I will start by going to the district's website, which is ccsd.net. This page is a fantastic resource for families, full of information about our district and current events in CCSD. Please note that it is possible to change the language you wish for this information to be displayed in by going to the gray bar on the top left and clicking on the small arrow next to where you see Select Language. You can then scroll to your desired language and the page will be auto-translated through Google Translate. On this front page, you will see a black bar on the right side labeled Trending. Each of these choices underneath are a hyperlink to take you to a new page. Please click on the bottom option that says Online Registration. This is the online registration page. You will see two icons that you can click on to get started. The icon here on the left side is for families who currently have children enrolled in CCSD and wish to re-register them for the next school year. You can even add a child who is starting with CCSD as long as you currently have one child enrolled in CCSD. The icon on the right is for families who wish to register a child in CCSD for the first time or have a child returning to CCSD after having left for another district. Both processes are very similar, but I will be showing you the registration for returning CCSD students by clicking on the icon here on the left. This is the initial login page for Infinite Campus. There are two apps available to families, one for the parents and one for the students. Please be sure to click on the bottom blue button that says Campus Parent, since this is the only way you will be able to get to the registration page in your account. This is the actual login page where you will enter your username and password. Please note that on the bottom of the page in the center, there is an option for you to change the language that your account will appear in. You can click on the small arrow in the white bar and select your desired language. Next, you will need to enter your username and password. Please remember that passwords are case sensitive, so please make sure to include any capitals as needed. If you do not remember your username or password and need help getting that information, you can either click on one of the blue links to have the information sent to the email that you have on the account, or call your child's school during regular business hours to get assistance. Once you have entered your information, click the blue Login button. After you have logged into your account, start off by going to the bottom option in the black bar on the left and clicking More. Then when the new menu pops up in the middle of the page, you will click one time on the bottom option in the top menu that says Online Registration Parents Only. Here, you will be asked if you would like to register a student who is currently in CCSD or a child who has never attended our district. Since I am showing you the process for a current student, I will click on the first option on the left. On this page, please note that it does ask you to turn off the pop-up blocker on your computer before you begin. Without turning off the pop-up blocker, you will not be able to progress through the registration. Please refer to your computer's setting to ensure that this has been taken care of. On this page, you should see a listing of all your children that are currently enrolled in CCSD, including their names, what grade they are going into in the current school year, and on the right side if they have been registered or not. You can also use this box above if you only need to add a new child, such as a new pre-K or kindergarten child, or a student returning to our district. Please make sure that this box below is selected for the current school year and press Begin Registration. This first page will allow you to choose what language you wish to have your information displayed in. Please click English or Spanish. You will then be asked for your name to acknowledge that you are the parent or guardian of the children you are registering. Please type in your first and last name and click Submit. Prior to beginning, please make sure to have all important information handy, such as your address, 
all phone numbers and emergency contacts available. Also note that if you have any issues during this process, you can always call your child's school during regular business hours or the number displayed here, 702-799-PORT-7678 for assistance. Be sure to have your registration number, found here in the top right corner, available if you call for assistance. When you are ready, click Begin. First, you will either verify or update the primary phone number for the household. This would be the number that is answered at all times. It can be a cell phone or landline. When entered, click Next. Next, you see the school your child is zoned for based on your address. This is your child's zoned school. It will not display if your child is going to a magnet school or not, but this will not affect your child's acceptance into that school. You can also click on the blue link to be taken to the district website to find which school is in your zone. When you agree, click Next. Next will be displayed the home address currently on the student's account. Please note you may be asked to submit proof of residence to the school, especially if you need to change your address. If this is not your current address, click on the small box underneath to change. Otherwise, please click Next. Next will be for the address that mail can be sent to. If it is sent to the address previously entered and appears, click Save. If there is a separate address, such as a PO box, please unclick the small box and enter your information. When complete, press Next. Next is for housing. Please read the descriptions carefully and choose the one that fits your housing situation. Click Next. Next is the Student Code of Conduct. You must click on the blue link and allow the code of conduct to pop up. Please review the information and close the pop-up. Then you can click the small box and click Next. The Educational Involvement Accord, which states the roles of parents, students, and district staff during your child's school years. Please press on the blue link to review the pop-up. Once read, close the pop-up, check the small box, and press Next. Next is the Code of Honor, which explains about the district's policies on cheating and plagiarism. Please click the blue link to receive the pop-up. Review this information, close, and check the small box, and click the blue Save and Continue button underneath. The next section on this page is asking if your home has reliable internet access so that your children are able to participate in distance education. Please check yes or no and click the blue Next button underneath. The last section is information about safe gun storage for families, along with a link if they would like more information. When they are finished reading the information, please click the blue Save Continue button on the bottom. Now you will be asked to review all parents or guardians on the account. If a name is highlighted yellow, you need to press the blue Edit Review button on the right. Please review each section, especially contact phone numbers and emails, and press Next when complete. The last section for parents asks if you are an active member of the military or work on a military base or federal property. There is a link that you can open if you would like more information. When complete, click on the blue Save and Continue button on the bottom. This will take you back to the main Parent Guardian page. Please repeat this process with each name highlighted, or you may add a name using the tab underneath. When all information is complete, click on Save and Continue. Next, you will be asked to review information about your children currently enrolled in CCSD. Each child that is highlighted needs to be reviewed. Click on the Edit Review button on the right to begin. On each page, please review the information, update if needed, and press Next. Please make sure to add at least one emergency contact person and information. This is vital information that can be used in the instance there is an emergency and we are unable to reach the household members. Only persons with their names listed here would be able to have your child released to them in these instances. The AUP is the Acceptable Use Policy, which states that your child may use technology at the school for learning and assessment purposes. This policy also allows your child to have a district device checked out to him or her and access systems such as Canvas, 
G Suite or Infinite Campus. There is a link provided if you wish to review this policy. Please select your choice and click Next. The release agreements can be very wordy, so please take your time to read through each section carefully. Also, if you have already completed the section for another child, you can click the blue button above to make the answer the same for all students. The student health information update is needed to inform school staff of any medical issues that affect your child. Please read through each part, completing all necessary questions. Be sure to look for questions with a red asterisk, which means it must be answered in order to move to the next page. When you have answered all parts, click the Save and Continue button below. You will then be sent to the student menu again. Please repeat the process for any additional children. Please note you can enter any new to the district students at any time by pressing the blue Add New Student button. When all information is entered, please press Save and Continue. The last tab is allowing you to submit your registration. After you press Submit, you will need to contact your child's school to change any information. You also have an option of saving your registration information. Always a great idea to have it just in case you need it later. When your application has been submitted, it will be sent to your child's school's registrar and you will receive an email saying it has been accepted. You may still need to turn in some documents such as birth certificates or shot records into the school. So please make sure to keep an eye out for communication from your child's school regarding these documents. If you have any questions about the online registration process, please feel free to contact your child's school during regular office hours. Thank you for being an engaged parent and registering your child for school. We can't wait to see your family soon. Thank you.